Hey everyone, my name is Weil and today we're going to be going through a real-life phishing attack against the Microsoft account, including bypassing multi-factor authentication. Now let's take a look at this calendar invitation that landed in our inbox. We can see it has spam filters and detection rules and appears to be from a third-party provider that works with our organization. Now the invitation looks okay, so let's click on the link. And we see we're redirected to what appears to be a login form from Microsoft. Now, if we take a close look at the URL, the browser thinks it's secure simply because it uses HTTPS. So let's go ahead and provide our details. We provide our email or password, and we see the multi-factor authentication notification coming to our phone. Let's go ahead and complete that. And we're redirected to myapplications.microsoft.com. Now, this can be anything the attacker wants, depending on the story they're trying to solve. Now let's go ahead and see what the attacker sees once we've logged in. We can see they've captured the email and the password in plain text, but we've also built an automation script that uploads everything captured from the victim into an online storage. Let's go ahead and download that file and open it. And we can see that we have the username and the password, but we also have this piece here, which is the authentication tokens. Now think of them as your proof to Microsoft that you've already went through the login process, including multi-factor authentication or anything else that exists. Now let's copy that. Let's go to login.microsoft.com, delete our cookies, import those, and hit refresh. And we can see that we're actually logged in as the victim. Now from this point onwards, we can do all sorts of damage. We can try to add our own multi-factor method so we can persist access. We can have a script that keeps the session alive so we can have a longer time to do whatever damage we want to do. We can build forwarding rules inside the email. So this way we can capture every email that's being received by the victim or even hijack email conversations that the victim is part of. So this way we can spread this phishing campaign internally now, which is way easier. The sky is the limit.